We started bargaining back in April and we bargained about 24 hours when the district decided to call mediation and impasse. So the district did not want to put anything on the salary schedule. We did get them to move a little bit. It was give and take on both sides, but we got something on our salary schedule, which is what we mainly wanted to do, and that's going to go towards our living wage. The district was adamant that we weren't going to get anything on the salary schedule. And through the diligence of your team, we managed to get a half a percent the first year, retroactive to September 1st. For year two, we'll get an additional 1.5% increase. And these will go on top of any COLA increases that the state, we hope, will pass through. The district really wanted to take a lot of days away from everybody. We have a lot of temporary one-on-one -on -one paraeducators who um, are temporary employees, so actually they stay at the same rate of pay. But one thing we managed to do that we're very proud of is to get them placed on the salary schedule. So if you've been a paraeducator for 10 years in the district, you're going to get to move up to that 10 spot on the, on the salary schedule and get that way. That was a big deal for us. It may not sound like a lot, but I mean, it really is considering where we started and the district did not want to give us anything. We had several times we were at the board meeting and we had rallies beforehand. We were lucky enough to have WEA president Mary Lindquist come to one of our rallies and the members just were really fired up. The district was afraid that we were going to take a job action and so they put out a flyer warning people that school might be closed if we weren't able to show up, which actually proved our point that they could not run these schools without the CESPA organization. Shoreline is a living wage local and what we're working for is uh, a decent hourly wage. We're not looking for full-time pay for part-time work, we're just looking for a living wage hourly rate. We were able to move forward on this a little bit. We did get some money on the salary schedule because it was the number one thing our members wanted us to get for them. And we did. The yes vote was 139, no vote, 7. So we have a new contract. Our Living Wage campaign has just started this year and we are going to be continuing on it. It's not something that you attain in one or two years. We're going to continue to grow and work on our living wage.